Okay everyone, so tonight's story is about a man who keeps seeing ghosts in his house and he don't know why. It started all of a sudden. Here's the story. So this guy lived by himself. He had some distant relatives. They didn't live close, but you know, I mean, they were still close and kept in touch. You know, he had some nieces and nephews and whatnot. But so he, you know, does his thing every day gets up, does his routine, eats his breakfast, you know, he's retired, just kind of hangs out and takes care of the lawn and everything, and one night, he wasn't feeling real well, just, he, he, he was real, he didn't have any energy, and he, uh, he just felt weak, and, you know, he, he thought, well, maybe I'm getting a flu, 24-hour flu or something, it'll pass, so, you know, he gets ready, does his thing, does his routine, gets his shower, you know, all that stuff, gets ready for bed, he watches a little YouTube, he likes Shea Bear 1000 and Monkey 1000, he watches them channels a lot, so, and he usually falls asleep, his TV's on a timer, it'll shut off when he goes to sleep, you know, so, he don't have to worry about getting back up, turn his TV off, so he does his routine, he wakes up the next morning, and he he thought he seen somebody in his house. He thought he seen someone walk past the hallway in, in the living room. And he goes out and, and he checks and well there's there's no one there. He's he's by himself. You know, and so later on that day he thought he seen a couple more people walk. Like he was in his living room. He thought he seen someone walk into his bedroom and someone walk into the bathroom and he couldn't figure that out. He went and searched the house and no one's there but him. And this goes on, goes on and on for a couple weeks and it gets gets worse. He keeps seeing more and more people in his house and he's wondering what's going on. Why, why is he seeing all these ghosts, you know, in his house? It's never happened before. So he keeps hearing these voices too and he thought he heard his niece's voice he thought he heard her her crying out in the living room he goes out in the living room nobody's there again he cannot figure this out so this goes on and on and and one day he he heard his niece's voice again saying that she loved him and and that um that she was going to miss him you know, he thought, well, this is definitely coming from inside the house. I gotta find out where it's coming from. So he starts looking again. He goes in all the bedrooms, the bathrooms. It's just one story house. Up through the hallway, into the kitchen, nobody. Into the living, the living room, nobody. But he still hears this faint crying. It's like it's coming all from around him. And he sees this paper laying on the countertop. Like he's got like a bar there, you know, that separates the kitchen and the living room. He sees this paper laying there, and he's he's not sure what it is, and he gets looking at it and reading it has his name on it. It's a death certificate with his name on it. And all of a sudden he realizes he can't remember the last time it was that that he ate anything. He can't remember the last time it was he he showered or, or done anything. All he remembers is following these ghosts around. And then it dawned on him. He must have passed away in his sleep. And these ghosts that we he was seeing was actually his relatives coming in, getting everything in order. He was actually the ghost. <laughs> Imagine if that would happen. That would be scary. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Scary Story Time. And uh, I hope you all have a spooky month. Because I sure am going to. Thanks for watching again, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. And this has been Shea Bear Paranormal. Enjoy yourself. Until the next one, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye and take care.